It's here, my friends, Murders at Karlov Manor, and on top of that, we got a nice look at the meta for you here today. Thank you for tuning in. I'm excited to give you our weekly series here on the channel, Friday Night Meta, as we break down the latest and greatest on the decks. We work across all the formats, best of one and best of three, but in particular with this one, we got Murders at Karlov Manor on deck lots of changes and a lot of fun and with that if you do enjoy today's episode i appreciate your support thank you for the likes and the subs and if you got questions or comments throughout let me know because i'd love to hear from you and feel free to join us in our amazing active discord server so thank you to everyone there down below you'll find the timestamps as we cover all that great information for you here today so let's get into it because you're probably wondering what's going on with murders at karlov manor so here we go with our first look at best of one in standard murder at Karlov Manor has been around for about a week. So you can suspect, right, if you get that one, um, that maybe things are going to change a little bit. However, there's certainly one explosive deck that everyone's talking about right now, which is Boros Convoke. Now, Boros Convoke, by the numbers, as you can see across the board here, from Bronze and Mythic is not the best deck actually, but it's close. Now the best one is actually Azor's Control followed by Mono Red Aggro, Boros Convoke, Selesny Enchantments, Orzhov Amalia, Mono Blue Tempo, Mono Black Aggro, and Golgari Midrange. So a lot of stuff similar that carried over into this meta again, which is fairly typical um, and also more typical at the beginning of a new set um, and a new release, which is one of the things that we always talk about. Now, big things here that you can definitely see, look at that though on the mono red aggro, Boros Convoke, lots of that going on, my friends. Then you have Zorus Control. Now, the big thing with the Zorus Control is it did get some really nice pickups. We've covered that list and Boros Convoke here on the channel. Um, you can check those out. I'll have the links down below for you as well. Um, also, Orzov Malia, a lot of fun. Um, just because uh but the real the real kicker here is that azores control really counters with the board wipes or the single target removals um and can get you just a little bit of an edge if they don't turn one turn two you with their four four drops and all that fun stuff so that's a couple of fun things that i did want to cover in today's episode for you in particular about standard best of one now as you can see here like we said the new release just recently here at the beginning of the month um, and then you can see that mono red coming down off its primal there or peak um, and then a huge uplift in boros convoke and then again a huge uplift in azores control and then as we see those win rates uh, Slesley Enchantments was very heavy at the beginning, has fallen down. Um, we do see Boros Convoke very strong, but we do see a big pickup in Azorus Control, which is very, very important there um, to pay attention to. Everything else is kind of coming down. Big hit on Golgari Midrange, but Midrange starting to find a way back up into the meta or or a little bit more competitive space um, as we would say so those are all key points of view here for you to understand what's going on let's go see if we can look at mythic and see if there's a little bit difference there is we do have a boros humans in here as well azores control ors of amalia mono red aggro boros convoke golgari midrange Celestia enchantments and mono blue tempo so a little bit of a change lots of players on boros convoke um, there as well but not as many on boros humans um, which still has a little bit better of a win right there so very very powerful to see that again you can see how these things are trending how they're running now uh, if we add that boros humans in there you can see as well um, in terms of those win rates so that my friends is standard best of one at the latest and greatest there for you at murders at karlov manor now let's go ahead and take a look at our best of three here in our best of three um, we do have four color domain source control boros convoke esper midrange mono red aggro dimmer midrange Gari Midrange and Rakdos Midrange here on the right. You can see Boros Convoke again being one of the most popular lists, um, followed by a lot of other stuff. Now here again, you can see that big pickup out of the gate and then similar again in response that Azorus Control. And then as you see here, it's actually coming down. Boros Convoke is not doing as well, um, but we do see that Four Color Domain is picking up and some of the other lists there um, in that space. Again, in particular Azorus Control as kind of that direct counter to, again, the aggro meta. Um, 
Here, when we go to Mythic, we do have a little bit of a different point of view. We got Esper Midrange, Dimmer Midrange, Boros Convoke, Mono Red Aggro, Four Color Domain, Bant Toxic in there. I love that list. Um, Golgari Midrange and Simic Artifacts, my friends. So a couple of different things there to take a look at and pay attention to when it comes to best of three. So that, my friends, is all the excitement for Murders at Karlov Manor here for Standard. Very happy about that. Love to see a fresh take um, and looking forward to things as they continue to evolve here um, in this particular uh, release. All right, so let's go ahead and check out Explorer. Explorer here, we got Abs Animalia, Zor's Control, Mono White Humans, Is It Phoenix? Um, again, Abs Animalia being a big pick up there from previous set. Uh, Slesny Angels, Mono Green Devotion, Mono Red Aggro, Abs and Grease Fang. Here, Azorus Control at the top. Um, in terms of popularity, uh, Slesny Angels, Abs and Amalia, and all the rest there. Um, here you can see again with the release of Murders at Karlov, a big shift um, in terms of what's happening. The good book, good counter, more board wipes, all that fun stuff. Um, Abs and Amalia, though, doing very, very strong, though. But we do see that pickup in that Azorus Control um, as well. And then a lot of the other stuff starting to pop. Um, there too. Let's see what we got going on at Mythic here. Mythic, Azorus Control, Abs and Amalia, and Is It Phoenix? So let's pull all the way back. Let's check out best of three here. In best of three, we got a few things. Um, Abs and Amalia, Boros Convoke, Rakdos Midrange, Rakdos Sacrifice, Azorus Control, Is It Phoenix? Mono Black, Waste Not, right at that 50% mark. Azorus Control at 21% of the popularity there and everything else. Here you go. You can see it coming down though. Um, we do see Boros Convoke and Rakdos Midrange coming back up. And then here again, Abs and Amalia, very strong on the win rate. Um, Boros Convoke getting a little bit better. It was played a little bit there. Um, and then big jumps um, on some of these other things as well. In Mythic here, this is what we got going on for best of three. Rakdos Midrange, Abs and Amalia and Azorus Control. All right, so that concludes Explorer. Let's go ahead and take a look at Alchemy here. Alchemy, Mono Red Aggro, Gruul Aggro, Boros Equipment, Mono White Soldiers, Orzhov Phyrexians, and Azorus Soldiers. 52% um, on Mono Red Aggro. There's the rest of it for you. And look at that. Incredible. Boop, boom. Look at that. Very, very Quite a lot going on. Um, and there you go in terms of the win rates over time. But we do see that Gruel Aggro is doing a little bit better. Let's see what we got in Mythic. Uh, just Mono Red Aggro, my friends. Okay, let's pull all the way back. Let's check out best of three. Orzov Midrange it is for best of three. Glad we got something in here post update uh, with the new Murders at, Karlov, uh, Murders at Karlov Manor set as well. All right, concludes Alchemy. Let's check out Historic. Here in Historic, we got Dimmer Ninjas. We got Is It Wizards, Four Color Leyline, Mono Green Elves, Zor's Control, Mono Green Devotion, Mono Black Control, and Mono White Life Gain. 250%. And on the right here, we do have 70% of the meta by Is It Wizards, Zor's Control, um, really green elves as well, and ley line there. Um, then kind of all the rest. And there you go. You continue to see is it wizards doing very, very well. We see a little bit of a spike in ley line there, falling back down, but a pickup in Azorus control. And then similar here as we see these pieces as well. Um, let's look at Mythic. Mythic here, we got Dimmer and Ninjas, Azorus Control, Four Color Ley Line, Mono Green Devotion, Mono Black Control. And again, big pickup being the slip. Um, and then here on the right, those are kind of the other pieces that you have as well. Um, and that's best of one. Let's see what we got going on. Best of three. Is it Wizards, Zorus Control, Simic, Merfolk, um, Mono Green Devotion, Teamer Gates, Good Old Gates, Devotion at 32%. Is it Wizards at 27? Here you can see the big skips. Um, and then the big wins, as we like to say there. Um, we will take a quick peek at Mythic. Mythic is all about those Is it Wizards. All right. That concludes historic best of one, best of three, and time for timeless. Timeless, we got four color ley line, mono green titan in there, five color zoo, Rakdos burn, dimmer dredge, Rakdos midrange, Rakdos breach, and Jun midrange. Um, here on the right, all the percentages for the played um, popularity today, mono green titan and Rakdos burn. Here you can see the popularity is rising, in particular Green Titan with the release here of Murders at Karlov Manor. Um, we do see Leyline uh, in terms of win rate having a really nice pop but falling down. We do see that Titan coming up. Um, additionally, there Five Color Zoo also making a big impact and difference there in terms of what's happening in Timeless. Um, let's see what we got going on at Mythic. Mythic, we just got Rakdos Burn being the big one. So we'll take a step back and move to best of three. Here in best of three, Zoo it is. 
Uh, then Dimmer Control, Rakdos Midrange. Jun Midrange, Grixis Shadow, Mono Green Titan, Soul Time Midrange is at Phoenix here on the right. Um, really dominated by the top three, Zoo on the next batch. And then as you can see that popularity over time, Jun Midrange falling off. We see Mono Green Titan popping in and Five Player Zoo popping in. Here's Zoo doing very well on the release. Was a big pickup there in terms of a change um, of what's going on. And then here you can see that Titan, a little bit of a fall off uh, towards the end of the week or um, kind of mid, mid season here, at least when we say mid season for the month. Um, and then pulling back up here, we do have Rakdos mid range. Um, if we do take a peek at Mythic, here's where we're at. Rakdos mid range, my friends, Rakdos mid range. All right. So that concludes Timeless. Let's see what's going on in Historic Brawl. We got Raghavan, the Nimble Pilfer still, uh, Mythweaver Pog, Boja, um, the First Sliver, Emoti, Roscoe, Itali, and Atroxa. Um, nothing crazy yet from Murders at Karlov. Um, in reality, we do see Voja, like I said, um, as a bit of a different one uh, in what we're seeing. But again, not as many changes relative to um, potential. So um, that is Historic Brawl at its snapshot. Um, there again, as you can see, some of those things trending um, and where they're going. You do see Rusco kind of falling out of there, but certainly we can pop it back in if we find it. All right, enough for that. And that, my friends, is the way we're going to end today. Um, so to pull it all back together, um, we've got the new release here at Murders at Karlov Manor. A big sneak peek, well, really a reveal in terms of what's going on here in the meta, in particular since it's been out for over a week. We got some good looks into Mythic as well, um, and several new lists and decks or some updates to some of those decks in terms of what's happening and what's going on right now with Murders at Karlov Manor. Ross small two sets actually so um or uh formats and with that said i hope you enjoyed today's episode um if you got questions if you got comments still let me know love to hear from you and feel free to join us in the discord server my friends um lastly thank you thank you for tuning in i appreciate it um thank you for the likes and the subs um and on top of that thank you to all of our members i appreciate that support we do have memberships available to you um uh Priority access, emotes, icons, all kinds of other stuff there. Check it out. Um, and affiliate links. If you're looking for stuff, we got cards, all that fun stuff. Um, check those out. Uh, something for everyone, as I like to say. Um, and lastly, at me, chat me. Um, I love to see what you're playing. I love to see your list. I love to cover your list here on the channel. Um, so stay connected, my friends. Um, and on top of that, don't forget, we got swag, merch, all that fun stuff. So with that, my friends, that is your Murders at Karlov Manor here for February. Let's get going. We'll see you out there, my friends, and go make some magic. Take care.